Postgraduate Application and Research Center in this university. And uh, we are, uh, man we manage some projects for uh, making Istanbul and make a brand also. Wonderful, yes. you do, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and also we are, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because I studied your books when I was taking the, some marketing courses, that's why I'm excited about it. Yeah, but um, I'm so excited to hear that you and some students are doing some brand building projects yeah, for the city. Yeah, we are working city. hard for it also. Uh, we are uh, organizing uh, an international, first international Istanbul trade co congress in Istanbul. So the students are organizing? Yeah, as a, uh, our, our uh, trade application at Resource Center, actually. We, we have a team here. Okay. Hi, <laughs> team. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for accepting us here. So I want to ask two questions to you. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I would like to ask your opinion about how domestic brands or companies can survive against the multinational companies because we know that multinational companies can have high amount of financial support and spend this money on research and development. So at this point, how should be the domestic brand strategic plan? You know, yes, plan? you're raising an interesting uh, challenge that happens around the world. I first saw it in India where the local companies were worried about the uh, Unilever coming in with lots of money and so on. Uh, what happened there was that uh, some of the local companies were very smart. They uh, charged less money for the product and they had wonderful songs and rhythms and they knew the local community so well that the big brand never picked up, you know what I mean? So that gives us hope that, that you could help the local brands figure out how to appeal to their local knowledge of the community that uh, where they can say you know you're choosing a soap but we know what the what people love uh, and we've been here three two hundred years you know uh, no, Unilever can't say that so it's not hopeless at all it depends on the category uh, sure you don't have R&D money uh, but you're not really trying to change what you're doing unless it's necessary uh, you're, you're trying to uh, reward the customers that you're going after with more than the impersonal big company that's trying to take over the world can offer. So you could even talk about Big Daddy and, and small local, you know, you can develop language to show that it's Samson and Goliath. Is it Samson and Delilah, or what? You don't remember the famous story about, oh, who's the, the little one who has the arrow and, and the big fellow's coming along? Is it Robin Hood? Huh? Maybe. Robin Hood, maybe? Well, it, 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 you can make a Robin Hood story or, or something that is a classic story about uh, the big giant being defeated by the, David and the, the little one. David and Goliath. David and Goliath, that's what I mean. You remember the story. In fact, what the advertiser locally could say, we, we are the David in the David and Goliath story. You could, you could hug the big one, but you're gonna be crushed by the big one. We're, we know how to treat you tenderly. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And my another question is about Industry 4.0. When we consider new strategies and marketing resources in parallel with the new industrial revolution in the near future, what will be your suggestions for the countries until the year 2071? 2021? 70. 2071. 2071. That's 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what would be the reaction of, these, of the whole, what we call the, the fourth industrial revolution and the Internet of Things? Is that what you have been hearing about? Yeah. yeah. We can say that. Well, the world will be a different place. Even in the next 10 years, it may be different. Can you imagine what it was like before we had the iPhone? Uh, I, I think uh, in such a world, um, so many things will be done for us by artificial intelligence that I'm wondering what's left for us to do. Uh, if we make the world and everything in it so convenient, 
uh, we better be getting interested then in art and music and finer things that you should be caring about in life. Uh, man, mankind and womankind had to spend their time working so many hours. Uh, uh, even did you know that women would, uh, in, in, in Italy, for example, would be in the kitchen most of the day because she has to, uh, her life was about that. There was no refrigerator. Uh, but when I think that the world would be uh, much more convenient, and maybe that people will. Be, the ones who are bored will, will, will not last long, and the ones who are enthusiastic about learning new things, lifetime learning, will be happy. Yeah, okay, thank you so much.